Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli out here in the lake doing some shop videos. Uh, fishing on the home pond today, this is Lake X. I don't know what's gonna go down, but we like mixing these in to our traditional shops every once in a while to give you a look of real life fishing. Um, you're gonna look here to my left, I've got eight rods. I've got four spinning, four casting. We're right around the spawn phase. So that means there's some spawning, there's some post-spawn, and there's still a few pre-spawn. We're gonna go out today, we got cloud, we got fog. Let's try to catch some fish and make some shops. Dude, first cast, one blasted it. All right, listen to me. I don't know if, if uh, you can get to see that boil, but literally first cast with a bait that is old, 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 old school. Um, we've actually done a, a few shop videos on this bait before, but I would love to show you this bait in action. This is the old school floating worm. Uh, bright orange color called methylade. Had a bite on my first cast, that's a good sign. So let's see if we can uh, catch a few on that thing. What a big one, big one on a float worm. Oh my God, look at the size of this one. Oh God, look at the pads. Ah, look at the pads. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I'm being a giant. Oh, I'm being a giant. Oh, I'm being a giant. Oh my God, he just swam away with it. This is what I love about this bait. It's old school, but it's still catching. Oh my God. Oh, oh, look at that thing. Oh, dude, what a beast. Dude, this is unbelievable. All right. If you're watching right now, this is really happening. We're doing an in the shop on the lake and we're out here on the perfect day to blind bedfish. And look at that beast. Um, not quite six, but way over five pounds. And look in that fish's mouth right there. That's the old school. Take a, take a look at that right there in his mouth. That's the old school float and worm. Um, when you can't see the beds, or if you're just fishing around spawning areas, there's nothing like that old school float worm. Uh, let me get this out. I'm gonna let this fish go. And I'm gonna tell you how to trick out this float worm. Let this baby go. Thank you, girl. <sighs> all right, everybody, that is what it's all about right there. Um, fishing around the spawn when you're not actually sight fishing. You know, there's a lot of techniques, a lot of methods that you can catch fish that are spawning, you can catch fry garters, you can catch fish that are coming and going. And that was a big female just hanging around a spawning area. I don't know if you could look up there. We got terrible light conditions today, but a little small pocket. This is an area where I can see some empty beds. Um, it's got a hard bottom. For sure, it's a spawning type area. But listen to me, when I tell you I didn't see that fish, that was just me casting and fishing. And so when you're fishing around the spawn, 61.4 degree water temperature, you don't have to sight fish. You can catch them other ways. And this is one of the best guys. This is one of the old school techniques that is a killer around the spawn. Pre-spawn, post-spawn, and spawn. This is called a float worm. I wanna show it to you. I wanna show you how I rig it, and I wanna give you a couple little tips that will really help you catch fish in the spring. All right, let's start with the bait. And this is, this is guys, this is as old school as you can get. This is a uh, straight tail worm. This is a Berkeley Power Bait General. And when I'm using a float worm, I like what I call shock colors. If you look at that one right there, it's an orange, almost a translucent orangey pink color. They call this one methylade. Um, I like white, I like lime green. I like those real bright pink, those real bright shock colors. But it's just a straight tail worm. This is a, a bottom hopper by Berkeley Powerbait. All right, the next thing, listen, this is so, so important to this technique, is the hook, is the hook. and and. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use a four-aught um, offset worm hook. But listen to me, you ready? We wanna use a hook that is heavy duty. 
That means the gauge of the hook, the wire of the hook, is thick. So this is a 4 aught heavy-duty, VMC heavy-duty worm hook. And the reason I want this real thick, stout hook, it's not because of the cover or because of the size of the bass. I want to use that heavy hook to help weight the worm to help keep the worm down. We, we actually want this worm to sink a little. Um, it's four aught heavy duty hook. Then I'm gonna use a short, short, okay? Well, I'm talking about eight to 16 inches of 12 to 15 pound fluorocarbon, all right? We want a short little fluorocarbon leader. Fluorocarbon's key because it's dense and that's gonna help this bait sink. Last but not least, and then I'm gonna show you how I rig this. We are gonna use a barrel swivel. Um, you know, if you look at this barrel swivel, I know what you're thinking, man, that's pretty big. That's a pretty big barrel swivel right there. And it is a big barrel swivel. And I'm purposely using, uh, I would call this a large size barrel swivel. And once again, why is that there? To help with line twist? Yes, that's true a little bit, but that barrel swivel is there to help weight this bait down. All right, I wanna show you how to rig this. I'm actually gonna go in my flambeau bag here and just grab another one. Uh, this, one got a little, this one got a little torn up from that last bass. But here it goes, guys, to show you the bait once again. 6.25 Berkeley Power Bait Bottom Hopper. This is methylate color. You know, again, it's an orangey pink, it has a little bit of translucency to it. And we're gonna rig this bait on this hook, and we are purposely going to put a little kink in it. Um, I know normally you've watched my shop videos, I talk about rigging a plastic straight, straight, straight. Well, for the old school float worm, we're purposely going to put a kink in it, okay? So when we rig it, there's our 4 uh heavy duty VMC worm hook. We're going to go in the nose about an eighth of an inch. This is a normal Texas rig, guys. Go a little further on this one. So in, instead of an eighth, go in just a hair further, pop it out. The other thing is when you're rigging it, make sure that the flat side is facing down. That's gonna help you with your gliding a little bit better. And then we're gonna go around that bend. Just, this is all normal Texas rig. This is nothing unusual. But here's the unusual part. Normally I tell you I want that bait rig straight as an arrow, but because we're using the float worm technique, go a little further back and when you push it out, purposely put that kink in it. You see that little hump in it? I'm purposely giving it a little bend. And what that's gonna do is I'm twitching it and pausing it, it's gonna give that bait rocking and almost like a side to side spin. So as I twitch it, it's gonna really have a lot of action. When I kill it, it almost wants to spin down, has a lot of movement with that little bend in there. So heavy duty worm hook, Little bend in the worm, short fluorocarbon leader, barrel swivel, all that added together with that bright worm around the spawn means success. Old school float worm, don't sleep on it guys. This is a really good one. Man, I hope you're enjoying these shop videos out here on the lake. This is real life stuff, guys. If you like what you're watching, if you like what you're hearing and seeing, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It's right down there. Subscribe to my channel. If you're already subscribed, Tell your fishing friends about Mike Iaconelli Fishing on YouTube. Man, we're here to teach you some new, old, creative techniques just like the float worm. See you later. I'm going to go catch another bass.